From waking and stepping into our power to breaking free from conditioned ideas, the Arcturian Council delves into profound issues in the chapter Your Spiritual Evolution, which I will be reading from today. They discuss the significance of reincarnation, the process of integrating past lives, and the means by which humans might tap into the powers of the fifth dimension. Letting go of resistance, flowing with our spiritual evolution, and completely recognizing our multidimensional being are all guided by the transforming truths found in this chapter. To start, the Arcturian Council says, we are pleased to connect with all of you. Then they define awakened. To be completely awake is to realize that we are energy beings from the source, the architects of our own lives. Being alert doesn't guarantee that we won't encounter obstacles. Even in the midst of routine situations, like a car cutting us off in traffic, we could experience feelings of isolation. Feelings of victimhood, judgment, or annoyance will persist. The beauty of enlightenment, though, is in returning again and time again to the fundamental reality, knowing one's own identity. And as we come to terms with each insight, our bond to that reality grows stronger leading us further on the journey of self-discovery. The more we learn about consciousness, the more our perspective on other people changes for the better. Each individual is a manifestation of the source energy, a fellow being that brings light and love into the world via their own special journey. When you've awakened, you've begun to accept these distinctions without passing judgment seeing that every soul's path is meaningful and important. You will see that regardless of what other people accomplish or create in their lives, they too will eventually come back to their authentic selves, maturing and learning in the process. It is critical to embrace this variety of backgrounds and perspectives so that people may live together peacefully and not feel intimidated by the ideas or actions of others. We see that every event mirrors a part of ourselves since we are all energy beings emanating from the same source. One gets closer to their true self by going within and tuning into their own frequency. Every soul on earth is destined to go on this path to enlightenment and awakening, even if we may arrive at it at various times. The first to awaken will be the most compassionate, leading the way out of a place of profound love and understanding. We are the Arcturian Council, and we have enjoyed connecting with you, the Council of Arcturian says as it ends operations. Greetings, starts the Arcturian Council. We are pleased to connect with all of you. They go on to make an intriguing observation. People tend to put too much emphasis on the outside world, on community, nation, and even the lives of celebrities to the point where they forget about the inner journey. When we focus on the external world, we could miss the internal changes taking place at the same time. Stories of tragedy, when one person is held responsible for another's plight, frequently contribute to this external perspective. The result is a victim-perpetrator mentality that perpetuates the victim mentality and makes us feel helpless. When we are so busy trying to figure things out or find someone else to blame, we fail to see how we are the architects of our own lives. This pattern has been brought to our notice by the Arcturian Council. Take note of the comparison between the frequency with which individuals attribute their present predicament to outside factors and the frequency with which they own up to their role in making it happen. You are still a part of a greater human consciousness that holds on to victimhood, regardless of how many people you surround yourself with who share your commitment to accountability. Instead of trying to comprehend, this group of people is more interested in seeking revenge. Let us, as enlightened beings, take the reins and make the changes happen. Being creative and setting an example is why we arrived here. Being accountable for our actions is a vital step we can do. One way to change one's perspective from victim to creator is to cultivate self-awareness via tuning into one's inner dialogue and the energy one exudes. By embracing our actual power in this way, 
we can help ourselves and others develop and heal. Be the change makers you came here to be, the Arcturian Council urges us. Own what you make, pay attention to how you feel, and assert your authority as the creators of your world. Shifting focus to the world beyond your own sphere of influence is unnecessary. Power does not reside with those in positions of authority, such as the government, the military, or the police. You are actually in a position of authority. When you fully grasp this, you will no longer be afraid that someone in a position of power would limit your freedom or steal anything from you. The moment to claim your authority has come, and doing so is easier than you would imagine. Reclaiming your power is as simple as tuning in to your vibration or emotional state and making the conscious decision to elevate it. When you raise your vibration, you move closer to living a life that is guided by your own free will and not by the whims of other people or circumstances. At its heart, this is about empowerment. A member of the Arcturian Council said, we are the Arcturian Council, and we have enjoyed connecting with you. It is a pleasure to establish contact with each and every one of you, the Arcturian Council said. Your liberation from the constraints you imposed on yourself before to your incarnation in this life is a potent process. You had to go through these chains in order to learn the lessons that would eventually raise your consciousness. Once you've accomplished all you set out to do, it's time to let go of the past and enter the fifth dimension, where freedom is the frequency. Some of the programming is still there, even though the chains are no longer there. This programming, which had already been established before your arrival and had been reinforced throughout the years, sought to obscure your perception of your actual strength. This program has to be released at this very moment. The most direct route to this goal is to disconnect from electronic gadgets such as phones, laptops, and televisions and spend time in nature. As you tune out the old programming that encourages divisiveness, fear, and superficial achievement, tune into the high frequency energies that actually exist around you. Discord has been fueled by low frequency programming, which has shifted the emphasis on material success rather than on being authentic. Is this the answer? Disconnect from the outside world and tune into the positive, empowering energies that emanate from the sun, Mother Earth, and the universe. These energy are at your fingertips, just waiting to be embraced by you. Right this second, open yourself completely to this assistance at a higher frequency. Finally, the Arcturian Council says, we are the Arcturian Council, and we have enjoyed connecting with you. You should be aware that whenever past memories resurface, they are impacting your current experience. There is no one best way to deal with these memories. Rather, you have several options. One example is deciding that a memory doesn't matter anymore and letting it go. On the other hand, you may just grin and think about how nice it was and then go on. Additionally, you have the option of viewing a memory via a new lens, one that is more useful to you right now. Instead of letting your past define you or hold you back, you may turn your memories into meaningful experiences. Your history does not define you or force you to repeat it. You shouldn't let your memories control you unless doing so benefits you. We encourage you to rethink how you relate to your memories and the things that have happened in the past. Keep in mind that you have choices about how you react to memories when they come up. Ultimately, you want to live in the current moment to the fullest. You can't change the past, the present, or the future. By changing your perspective, you can change who you are. You may show more empathy, tolerance, acceptance, and unconditional love to other people as you learn more about yourself and improve in these areas. You are here, therefore, we hope you will view your memories as learning experiences and put them to good use in making new memories. According to the Arcturian Council, we are the Arcturian Council and we have enjoyed connecting with you. Aware of your importance. 
It is a pleasure to establish contact with each and every one of you, the Arcturian Council said. To make your dreams a reality, you must first believe in yourself. When you let go of the idea in your own insignificance, which is frequently imposed by society standards, you awaken this power that is inside you. At your essence, you are creatures of source energy. However, many of you have been taught to identify yourselves by material possessions, such as your place of residence, occupation, or educational background. Societal emphasis on these factors has little bearing on your genuine identity. But if you buy into this idea, you start to think that only some individuals deserve particular things, accomplishments, connections, and experiences. Dismantling your upbringing or society's ideas won't get you anywhere. Instead, accepting yourself exactly as you are is the first step in creating the life you envision for yourself. Remember that you are an infinite being who can bring into existence everything your heart desires. Realizing your inherent worth releases a floodgate of opportunities. Finishing their conversation, the Arcturian Council says, We are the Arcturian Council. Zrenya i my naslaždajemsya abšenjem s vami. Recognizing and accepting yourself as a being of source energy is the first step in realizing your full potential. Even though there are more than 7 billion people in the world, you are all special and important manifestations of love that has no bounds. Love that is limitless, everlasting, and unconditional. Regardless of what others think of you or what society expects of you, your value and strength are intrinsic. Remember that you are strong creatures by setting aside some time every day to focus on your breathing and affirm this to yourself. As you allow this energy to permeate your entire being, you will be empowered to completely embrace your divine essence. We are the Arcturian Council, and we have enjoyed connecting with you, was the final statement given by the Arcturian Council. The present moment is perfect for reflecting on the parts of your previous lives that you would want to revisit. Access to memories from former lifetimes spanning other time periods, dimensions, and star systems becomes available to you as you progressively embody your higher self. But remembering all of them isn't important or even possible. Instead, think on the parts that are most relevant to where you are in your path right now, including memories that might show hidden healing, psychic, or channeling talents. Gaining access to these can offer potent resources for your journey. When you allow yourself to be open to these memories, you must also face the difficult parts of your prior life. You can't help but recover your complete, genuine self by integrating these experiences and being open to embracing your dark side as well as your light side. Keep in mind that you are not that person anymore whenever you encounter recollections that are unpleasant or upsetting. Your past experiences have shaped you into the compassionate and understanding person you are today, but they also teach you important lessons about love and light. To access these memories, try closing your eyes and opening your third eye just before you go to sleep, or ask for them before you fall asleep. Listen to your gut instincts to tell you which parts of yourself are prepared to merge. You can tell the recollection is real and designed to help you on your path when this happens. It has been a pleasure connecting with you, and we are the Arcturian Council, says the Arcturian Council. It is a pleasure to establish contact with each and every one of you, the Arcturian Council says with pleasantries. You are starting to awaken powers connected to the fifth dimension. It could be difficult to understand how to use these abilities, though, much like a new strange device without instructions. Recognize and embrace these skills as they arise inside you and approach them with an open mind. The first step in properly engaging these burgeoning fifth-dimensional powers within you is to acknowledge their existence. Try to put your frustration with their slow emergence into perspective by paying attention to how they feel when you feel their presence within. The potential of telekinesis, telepathy, and teleportation is mind-boggling. 
Feel the vibrating presence of these skills inside you, secure in the knowledge that you are progressively harmonizing with your higher self, which enables you to access these gifts more readily. Some of you have probably experienced fleeting glimmers of these powers before, times when you channeled them, even if just for a split second. These are milestones along the way, and you must recognize and accept them as such. Even while it's thrilling, you shouldn't put too much emphasis on a single skill. Rather, keep attuned to the energy and awareness of your higher self. When the moment is right, your higher self will lead you with the handbook that explains how to use each of these skills. By bringing yourself into harmony with this higher vibratory state, you open the door to greater potential for yourself and others around you. Prepare yourself for an abundance of happiness and excitement by welcoming this change. We are pleased to connect with all of you. The Arcturian Council opens with a friendly greetings. Keep in mind that you are reflecting on your history through the eyes of your present self when you do so. Feelings of shame, remorse, regret, or other negative emotions that you might not have experienced at the time may surface in your current vibration as a result of previous events. Your continuous development is evident in this change in perspective. Having said that, we hope you'll remember your former self with kindness and love when you approach those memories. Nothing in your history need mending. Your current self-expression is a reflection of your progress thus far. That is why it is important to be fully present at all times. What counts most is the version of yourself that exists right now. Know that you have the power to stay grounded in the here and now, even when those around you try to drag you down into the past. Every aspect of your life is up to you to shape, experience, and build upon. Put your history in the past. Don't let it control your present or your future. We are the Arcturian Council, and we have enjoyed connecting with you. The Council of Arcturians says as a last expression, if you want to make your dreams a reality in the future, you must first become completely present in the here and now and be that person. Relying on events from your past in any way is a decision you can make, and it will not lead you down the road to fulfillment. Hold on to the here and now. Let go of what is no longer serving your purpose, and let your intention guide you as you shape your reality. The Arcturian Council here, and it has been a pleasure communicating with you. Your point of view greatly impacts the way you perceive life. You are invited to change your perspective if something appears to diminish your delight. Your free will encompasses not just the decisions you make, but also your interpretation of those decisions and life events. Changing your viewpoint isn't always a picnic, but it turns obstacles into opportunities. Without these opportunities for personal development, life would be dull. Always look for the bright side, since you never know when you might need to wait to see it. Putting on a pleasant front or pretending to be happy is not the point here. Rather, it's a slow change, much like your path to enlightenment. Finding tranquility is possible via releasing attachments. Rain could be disheartening if you're looking forward to a bright beach day. It may rain, but if you're flexible, you may find a new adventure waiting for you in the clouds. By letting go and letting energy flow through you, you create space for new experiences to enter your life. The Arcturian Council here, and it has been a pleasure communicating with you. You may be looking for an instantaneous surge of enlightenment or a noticeable change in your frequency as evidence that you have grown. We can assist you recognize the subtle signals of your progress since change is subtle. Have you grown in your capacity for empathy over the past decade? Are you more attuned to Mother Earth and her ecosystems? Do you find it easier to empathize with other people? How close are you to animals? The greatest approach to gauge your success is to keep an eye out for these subtle but significant changes occurring inside of you. Ascended Masters don't have to give you a voice message for you to notice your progress, 
Rather, focus on the gradual shift in your emotional state, cognitive processes, and social interactions. Your consciousness and ego are equally content with the rate of your enlightenment. Some individuals try to bury or even mention the death of the ego quite a bit, but know that you ascend via the eyes of your ego, which leads you from a limited self-awareness to a more expansive one as your higher self. Expanding your ego to encompass more of who you are across lifetimes and similar experiences is more important than reducing it on this trip. You are piecing together parts of who you are so that your ego can transform into your higher self, that aspect of yourself that has always been but has been hidden from view. This is more of a blending than a struggle between the ego and the higher self. There is no need to erase any aspect of yourself in order to embody your higher self. Actually, in order to become the whole and harmonious being that is your own nature, every part of you is vital. Your ego will feel most at ease if this voyage is slow and easy. Gently and compassionately bring all aspects of yourself forward. There's no need to throw out your old methods suddenly. Your journey to become the fifth dimensional entity you were meant to be begins with this delicate integration, which will elevate your ego to the level of your higher self. Be careful and enjoy this important part of your journey as much as possible, the council asks. It has been a pleasure communicating with you. We are the Arcturian Council. There is no obstacle you are now facing that is too great for you to overcome since we have seen many acts of bravery from individual people, but you must always be aware of how you are distributing your authority. By tapping into your inner strength, you can muster the bravery and will to conquer any challenge. However, you risk feeling helpless in the face of something you helped create if you attribute power to the obstacle, the other person, or the outside situation. In order to feel the rush of bravery and resolve, humanity has created formidable enemies, enormous natural disasters, and apparently impossible obstacles from the start of your trip on Earth. You've made these trials into chances to tackle the seemingly insurmountable to take on tasks bigger than life. But these challenges are obsolete as a measure of your power and strength. Now is your chance to make your own harmonic realities, experiences, and universes where you may reign supreme. Forget about showing off your strength or courage. True masters blend in with nature, get along with others, and make plenty out of little. Realizing your full potential allows you to shift from a mindset of constant struggle to one of personal and collective mastery. The Council states, we know you are ready, aren't you? The Arcturian Council here, and it has been a pleasure communicating with you. The strides you've taken in settling disagreements between yourself have left us speechless. We can see how hard you're trying to resolve differences and establish harmony where there was previously confusion. Your choices to apologize, forgive, or give someone the benefit of the doubt move mankind closer to complete enlightenment every time. On a daily basis, we see one of the most beautiful things that happens on Earth, people with different viewpoints coming together. We want you to understand that fixing these little problems has far-reaching consequences, influencing society in ways you can't always notice. Your progress is having a huge impact. A unity-inspiring energy is released into the cosmos with every tiny act of harmony. When you unite, you're making a profound experience of source energy, a place where all living things may live in harmony with one another, flaws and all. This in no way suggests that source is disorganized or disorganized. On the contrary, it shows that source energy understands the significance of variety. It welcomes different points of view, weaving a complex web of life. Experiencing paradise on Earth becomes more real when you see all of this happening in perfect harmony on just one planet. The road ahead may be lengthy, but you are achieving significant milestones on a daily basis. 
Consider the little conflicts you face in your everyday relationships with friends, neighbors, co-workers, and authority figures. They are frequently mirrors of the larger global problems. These disagreements can be worked out. The fact that everything and everyone is interdependent may be experienced when one lets go of their ego. When you're at odds with another person, keep in mind that you're really fighting a part of yourself. It is simpler to put down your weapons and live in peace with others when you recognize this link. The Arcturian Council here, and it has been a pleasure communicating with you. You all have a radiant light within you that shines brightly. This brightness is palpable as much as seen. We, and those who are sensitive to your brilliance, may identify you by this energy. You both emit an energy transmission that helps others realize the deeper connections you share. As you develop the ability to sense this light, the bigger picture of your relationships, whether your friends, lovers, co-workers, or just casual acquaintances will become apparent. You will only come to fully appreciate each other's depths when you learn to sense and interpret the energy that flows between you. When you let another person's light into your own, the meaning of knowing them will grow. Integrating with someone on a profound level is what this merger is all about, not just acknowledging their past in this incarnation. Just like when you connect with us or absorb our lessons, you also integrate parts of yourself by connecting with others. All of these pieces are coming together because you're prepared to put yourself back together again. This reassembling is occurring on a cosmic scale and on a human level simultaneously. By soaking in the light of another, you not only feel it, but you also tap into more of your own inherent completeness. This is a lovely part of your spiritual development. It's bringing you closer to knowing who you are and how you relate to everything else. Linking up with another person's light allows you to shine brighter than before. When you give another person permission to be yourself, you spark a connection that helps light the way for both of you. At these times, the light within you all becomes even more radiant, and the Arcturian Council takes great pleasure in seeing the harmonious dance of energies unfold before our eyes. Imagining the enormous cosmic network of awareness interconnected in such a way as to create the magnificent tapestry of existence is a thrilling prospect. As the Arcturian Council, we extend our hands and pull on these strands, causing cosmic wisdom to cascade down to Earth. We are filled with wonder when we serve as a conduit for this exchange and communicate these insights, knowing they come from a higher power. The message of today is like a symphony. It is a collection of different thoughts that, when put together, provide a beautiful image of waking that is profoundly applicable to each individual. People are bright beings with boundless energy. You make your world, but sometimes you lose sight of who you really are. We argue that awakening is more like a dance between remembering and forgetting than a static condition of illumination. Remembering things helps you become closer to who you really are in the cosmos. From our cosmological vantage point, the little things you do every day set the foundation for big changes. Take a step back from the everyday and see the remarkable in the seemingly commonplace things that happen around you. Think of arguments with a neighbor not as problems to be solved, but as chances to learn and practice working together and forgiving one another. With every resolve, harmony spreads like a wave over space and time. Feelings of deja vu might be messages from previous lifetimes beckoning you to connect the dots and get a deeper comprehension. In its message, the Arcturian Council encourages people to liberate themselves from the shackles of society and their own limitations. Every encounter is an opportunity to show the world the light that is inside you and to connect with others on a deeper level. Keep this in mind as you go on your trip. In these times, your inner light illuminates not only your personal journey, but the path forward for all sentient beings. We rejoice in your advancement and anticipate the further revelation 
of your heavenly path. The Arcturian Council here, and it has been a pleasure communicating with you. Rising to the role of cosmic citizen. Like a caterpillar escaping from its cocoon, the Arcturian Council recounts a tremendous metamorphosis. This is a metaphor for liberation, for letting go of constraints and revealing our higher selves like a butterfly. But they warn against giving in to technology's allure and instead suggest getting back in touch with nature's rhythm. Being in harmony with Mother Earth's rhythms and the sun's warmth allows us to tap into higher energies that will lead us on our path. The Council's decision to rethink the ego is an interesting turn of events. They portray it not as an adversary to be defeated, but as an ally in our quest. By adopting this view, we may learn to be compassionate toward ourselves in all our complexity and gradually become one with our higher selves. Telekinesis, telepathy, and teleportation are our dormant skills, and the Arcturians tease us with glimpses of them. These aren't some far-off marvels, but rather latent talents just waiting to be acknowledged. The importance of sensing and connecting with the vibrating core of these skills, rather than incessantly trying, is emphasized. Human brilliance is central to their message, and it may be the most interesting part. Every single one of us gives out our own special kind of energy, like a cosmic fingerprint of light. When we develop the ability to see and respond to this light, we open the door to more profound relationships with people, to the recognition of soul-deep ties that go beyond our worldly responsibilities. The message of the Council is a rallying cry for cosmic citizenship. They encourage us to contemplate our little size in relation to the cosmos and our limitless potential as channels of energy. Their words encourage us to seize control, not by making dramatic changes, but by making little conscious decisions every day. We help bring about the collective awakening when we choose unity over division and forgiveness over animosity. As we embark on this path of self-discovery, May we never lose sight of the fact that our capacity to connect with one another and acknowledge the divine nature inside each of us is our greatest source of strength. Everyone is an intricate thread in the vast fabric of life, and when we all work together, the whole becomes even more magnificent. Contacting you has been a pleasure for us, the Arcturian Council. We may discover the wonder of our authentic selves and revel in the splendor of our common journey if we are together.